That ship, Holland America's Zondam ship. And at least four people on board have died. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal has more on the Le Havre Heights couple trapped on that ship trying to get home. This is Min Lee and Sho Ying Cheng smiling on a boat tour in Brazil in early March and posing with penguins in Argentina. Here they are eating with friends in the dining hall on board the Zandam. Pictures of a perfect vacation. But just a little over a week into their trip, the global pandemic caught up. We're not sure what's going to happen to us. From inside the ship, he and his wife have been quarantined in their room for more than a week. Yeah, the last stop, I believe, was on March 14th in Punta Arenas, where they were actually allowed to disembark. And that, that's in Chile. And um, shortly thereafter, they were told that no other city or port would allow them to dock and they'd have to stay on the ship. Jafei Chang is their son. He spoke to us from his home in Silver Lake, where he's been in constant contact with his parents through email and text. He says his dad started feeling feverish and sick, and by March 22nd, took himself to the ship's medical center, which was just packed with other people. That same day, passengers were told to self-isolate in their rooms. Look at this. Their food dropped off at their door. Shortly later, they heard that two people have been infected with COVID-19, and that four people had passed, but the conditions of their passing remain unclear. The medical staff is we understaffed, and the supplies also not enough. The ship has been in limbo ever since, waiting to get permission to dock. Over the weekend, only healthy passengers from the Zandam were transferred to another ship, and both ships were finally allowed to pass through the Panama Canal last night on their way to Florida. We hope that this, the, the Fort Lauderdale and local Broward County folks will welcome them and help them get the proper um, triaging and isolation measures necessary. So this cruise ship should arrive in Florida sometime this week. The cruise line says there are currently 73 guests and 116 crew members who are sick on the Zandam. I'm Jasmine Veal, back to you.